welcome to Super Ninja 20,000 Reactions. I'm your host, Super Ninja 20,000, and it is... Be the day for. Yes, that is correct, people. We are back with the season of Ruby, with Ruby, Volume 6, Episode 10. My favorite title ever, Stealing from the Elderly. Yes, that's the actual title of this video, of this uh, episode, and it's great. Um, I... Oops. Um, I saw that and I just died. Um, this is gonna, um, this is gonna be great. They're gonna steal, uh, well, hold up, before I get into that, um, last time on Ruby, Volume, uh, well, uh, yeah, Volume 6, they, um, um, a little bit sad because, um, Jean was, well, well it was a little bit sad, but hard work to talk because Jean finds the, um, Statue of Pira and Mama Nico shows up and makes him happy and all this stuff. Well, makes him feel better about himself. And he and Jean uses his well, um, his resolve to go through with um, to continue on to bolster Ruby's resolve to go on, which causes her to say, "We're doing this to Crow and be tired of his crap, and we're all going to do it." Oscar has now a new his suit. Honestly, it kind of looks like a Christmas tree. Um, but, <laughs> yes, uh, he looks like a Christmas tree, and, but now, they've decided to go steal an Atlas airship, that is going to be fun. Oh yeah, and, also Tyrion and Watts are on their way to Atlas. Wait, did you see them to fight? So, let us just hop right in there and begin Ruby Volume 6, Chapter 10, in 3, 2, 1, and start. Okay, um, and as always, I'll be rewatching this silently afterward, and then I will come back with what I and any other thoughts that I can formulate. No hope, no path. Returning to Atlas just warms my old heart. It was time to get my act together and go back She's to my She's gotta be over four, under oh, four I can't foot. I wait to see you follow in your sister's footsteps. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm sending yeah, two of my best bangs. guards to personally escort Why? you. Why? Just say that. Make sure General Ironwood hears that part. <laughs> okay, Allow me to assist you with your bath. Hi, what a heavy bag. That's all right. Nonsense. Allow me to assist as well. I can oh, oh. take care of it by myself. <laughs> Just like we practiced. Or on board. All right. <laughs> I got my reading there. 
The second Weiss is out of range oh, of the comm tower, that'll mean she's out of range of the radar too. And that's when Blake steps in. We're almost at the drop off. Ooh. Okay, just remember, one, the radar box is separate from the rest of the communications equipment. So okay, if you disconnect it properly, second. it won't take out comms from the rest of the city. Two, this conversation never happened. Don't worry. This isn't the first time I've disabled Atlas security. Never but... happened. <laughs> okay, but um, the fact that... Are you sure that... you should come with? More intruders means we're more likely to be seen. Besides, stealth isn't exactly her own. Strong point. I mean, you're great, and I'll hurry back. <laughs> Go. Okay. But, um, well, well yeah. Um, I love how they rehearsed the little, ba oh, the little baby over? crying and everything. Oh, <laughs> yes, it's Wait. all going to plan. Was, was that his semblance, I wonder, or was Lost. that just the aura of a baby crying? <laughs> Just so happy it works. Crow slap. Hey, this is gonna work. I knew it had to be some small person in yeah. that trunk. <laughs> it's great that it was Maria of all people. There they go. Calm silence. Miss Lee. For your own sake, we must request the Traitor! Traitor! <laughs> what you do, freeze him? This parachute won't excuse you of your treachery! <laughs> oh. <laughs> I just locked him up and put him in a parachute and threw him off. Are you sure you can fly this? Missy, I was the Grim Reaper. What part of best huntress of her generation don't you understand? Well, you did shrink a lot. But your eyes. <laughs> you are saying that you said Oops. your eyes were in desperate need of repair. Uh, uh, uh. But. But. <laughs> but. But. She plugged it in to the, um, to the playing and now they can see everything. That's pretty funny. That's pretty cool, I mean. Goes wise. Alright guys, this is it. Blake, you're up. But where's the columns in their ears? I see nothing. They're just Blake? touching their ears. Husband. Uh oh. Where are Raggy? Yeah? What's going on? I don't know. But why are you not answering? Man, we've got something on radar. And who would be foolish enough to enter our airspace unannounced? Apparently, us, ma'am. Amanda 5 1, this is Argus Base. We see you circle back. What's your status? Over. Why can they see us? Somebody dropped the ball. Don't worry, I've worked with Atlas forces before. I know their jargon. <clears throat> Argus base, this is Manta 5-1. Feel free to gap off. Thought we were going to scrub due to FOD, but we're back up in green across the board. Over. <laughs> Manta 5-1, return to base immediately or you will be treated as hostile. Over. I thought you said you knew their jargon! Jargon was fine, but our pilots aren't elderly women. <laughs> <laughs> well, they got me there. Ooh, the jargon my mind fine, really but... is going. Why would you kids let me fly this thing? Calavera! You and those are going to could undermine my authority? If you don't return my ship this instant, I will make an example out of you. I will show you the true might of Atlas. You hear that, Gordo? Uh, Gordo, 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 Gordo. That's the sound of me not caring! <laughs> Why she you catch you? Ruby, we're in trouble. Gordo's onto us, and Maria isn't helping! Why is the radar still up? We don't know. Blake isn't responding. What, what, what's wrong with Blake? Keep the ship in one Did case. Adam get her? Maybe we should fly over to help Yang and Blake first? Damn it! Gordo's gonna scramble our fighters. We've got maybe 90 seconds before they're in the air and all over Weiss and Maria. This is all my fault. What are you talking about? 
Did you got the bad Every luck? Choice I've ever made has led me here. They dragged you along with me. Oz, myself, the others. We're responsible for the mess the world's in now. Shouldn't have come. Shouldn't have let any of you come. What was I thinking? Somebody please slap him. So he can. We're all in this together, think. and we're all going to do the best we can. That's all anyone can do. And I know it's what you always aimed for. We would have come whether or not you'd let us, so stop talking like we're your responsibility. We're not. But we could still use Crow Bronwyn on our side. That is true. Bronwyn? I thought it was Bronwyn. Bronwyn actually sounds better. <laughs> How did you grow up so fast? I have good role models. By, um, having to kill things. What is it? She's not sending fighters. What? What is she sending? Is that a big robot? Are they sending a Gundam? No way. They seriously send like a Gundam after it? Clearly the people have forgotten that they live in peace thanks to the awesome fight of Atlas. going well whatsoever. Ourselves, don't you think? Leave me and he's got a black mask. But I've waited so long. Is that a blindfold or a black mask? Me. He's been watching you the entire time. It was. I was wondering about that. He has been watching him. Oh no, this ain't good whatsoever. Why did you have Why to come into my them? life and ruin everything? You stalked me across Anima. I don't want anything to do with your life. I'm still trying to figure out why, why, uh, how is he able to fight when he has the blindfold? Why does he have a blindfold? I understand that mask. Find the blindfold. I like how they're actually using their free hands for once. How is he doing this? Oh no. Oh, this ain't good. Come on, Yang. Show up. Let's fight him. Let go of the past, Adam. Do it for yourself. Just forget it all. Is that what you did to me? You just threw our memories away? Adam! I let you go once already, Blake. I'm never making that mistake again. Oof. Please tell me here comes Jane and just smacks him with the bike. And that's the end of the episode. Darn it. I knew it. Dang it! Dang it! Dang it! I knew that was gonna be the end. Why did I know that was gonna be the end? But just... Woo! Holy moly! That was crazy. That was good. I'm gonna rewatch it. Um... Cordova has apparently lost her mind. I'll, I'll, as soon as Blake didn't talk, I was guessing it was Adam. 
But just the fact that Adam has actually been stalking them the entire time, every time they saw him, it was surreal. He, all he was doing was just scary the entire time. Okay, um... So, yeah, that was a thing. So, I'm gonna rewatch that, see what else I can pick out of it. And just, well, I love it, I love the... The, the, the jargon was fine, ma'am, but our... Our pilots aren't elderly women. So, um, we're... I'm gonna rewatch this silently, and I'll come back in a minute. Um... See what else there is. So... Be right back. And we are back. So, I um, only have, really have one question about this. Why was it necessary to build a mech that large? I can understand if we were, if, like, if we were finding humans. The only thing we, you would find humans with would be... Um, Sailor and her cronies, but I don't think she's going to do that. She's more than likely to send Grim. You can't fight Grim with that. Grim are too big for that. Unless they have to fight Goliath, which I don't think is there. Is there like a cracking Grim that it needs to fight that with? Because I don't see any reason for that. So I'm just guessing Atlas built it just for the heck of it. Why put it in Argus though with a crazy woman? I don't know, but, um, it was, th this is a good episode, ready to watch the next one, just it ain't out yet, because I'm finally caught up, but, so, I saw it, <laughs> so, um, I don't know what else to say, because, he's, just, I want to see the blinking at him, and maybe he ain't fun, so, as always, please like, subscribe, comment down below what you like me to react to next, as well as your thoughts on this episode, and as always, this is Super Ninja 4000, signing out!